rough, rough videos. Hi, my ILS students. Take a deep breath in. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. We have science this week. And if you pull out your Wednesday week 24 packet, turn to the last page, you're gonna see what we need. It's gonna be string, even yarn of any kind. So I have some string. You're gonna have to tie the string onto a couple different um, solid surfaces. I will be tying mine to, from the doorknob to the bench. You're gonna need a straw. So between if you tie it to one end, you need to put that string through a piece of the straw before you tie it to the other end. And you're going to need some tape to tape that balloon onto the straw. And you're going to need a balloon. We're going to make a balloon rocket. So let's get started. I'm going to start out by pulling off, oh, I don't know, that's long enough my string. Come over here and I'm going to tie it to the handle. I'm just going to do it as easy as possible and make a little slip knot. Slide this in here and down there. Make sure it'll stay there. Okay, now you're supposed to pull it tightly over to the next surface. But before I connect it here, I have a lot of extra string, I have to put some of this straw. We don't really want all of it because you have this part here. So let's cut it a little down. This right there. So, there we go. Let's see how that works. This science experiment you can do different times by using different balloons, different lengths of straw, Kind of a fun experiment you can do. So I'm just pushing the string through the straw. If you need to use a pin or something, you can do that. So I'm going to put the straw over here and I'm going to pull it nice and tight. What I'll do is probably wrap around this a couple times so I don't have to worry about it getting loose. And then I'll tie Okay, so now I have, and you can use different types of strings. You can see my string has some little areas on it that might get in the way, but we're gonna try it anyways. Next thing you're gonna do is, I would have a couple pieces of tape ready. So I'm gonna take one, two pieces of tape, because what's gonna happen is while my balloon is still inflated, I can't tie it off. While it's inflated, I'm going to tape it to this straw. That's what's going to make our rocket. And you can make the line go much further. We just kept our short for the video purpose. Maybe we'll make it longer when we do our class. So I've got to blow this up. Like I said, two different types of balloons I left you. You know, the rounder one or the longer one. I'm told this one works better. But again, you can experiment and see which one works better. balloon. I think I'm supposed to have a special balloon thing for this one. It's not going. <laughs> so here we go. Another lesson. Stretch out your balloon a little bit. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. I'll try again. If not, I might have to go to the other balloon. <laughs> try and get in a balloon. I don't know if I even have one that will help you inflate it, but we'll have to use this one because I can't get that one to blow up. I hope you guys have better luck than Miss Kelly, but this is called the inflexible. Here we go. Let's try this one. Okay, so here it is. I don't think I needed to blow it up quite that large, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to take this tape 
put it on the straw in a couple spots. One, two. One important thing is to make sure that the end that's going to let the air out is faced the direction, the opposite direction of where you want the straw to go. So here we go. I have, there we go. It's all, so you know the straw did not move before, but let's see what happens when I let go of my balloon. I'll try and get out of the way of the uh, video. <laughs> and there you have it, a balloon rocket. So if you want to know about how that works, it's called thrust, a pushing force created by energy. So the balloon forcing the air out. So this balloon, by forcing the air out, is able to rocket across, which is similar to how actual rockets work, but it's with different. It's the same theory, thrust. And that's why we did this experiment. I hope you guys are great, and I can't wait to do this in person and see what you guys think. I hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Rough, rough video.